Who's ready to sing the Ralphie's Rumpus birthday rump shake? Let's sing, let's cry, let's bling, let's lie. It's time for Ralphie. Well, dance, eat cake, and do the rum shake. It's time for Ralphie. You okay, man? You okay? Tell them to go to Princeton Plainsboro Hospital. Our parents died. He's all we've got. The path was clean and echo showed no structural abnormalities. Fatigue, night sweats, weight loss preceded the heart attack. 18-year-old kid, suddenly an orphan and a single father of two. Party of five. Powerful stuff. It's the OC of its day. Stress explains everything except the itchy feet. Athlete's foot covers that. Waiters work 12 hours a day in old sneakers. Mmm. Good idea. Ignore the symptoms. Makes her job easy. I'm not ignoring a symptom. I'm explaining a symptom. Kid's been hanging over a toilet despite anti-emetic therapy. Persistent vomiting could indicate increased intracranial pressure, tumor. Sure. Heart problems. It's got to be the brain. Thank God there's a neurologist in the room. Right. It's the feet. If only I were a podiatrist. Probably caught an intestinal virus from one of those feral kids running around. Repeated vomiting causes an electrolyte imbalance, which leads to an arrhythmia, which leads to the heart attack. And itchy feet. Nope. That's it? Nope. I've said too much already. This isn't a game, Miles. No, it's not. But it could be. What are you writing? Nothing. If you know the diagnosis, why don't you... How are you going to learn to swim? Unless I take off your floaties and throw you into shark-infested waters. You can't know what's wrong after a 30-second perusal of his file. Apparently you can't. Now, what's a game without rules? Uh, no tag backs, no biting, Get one test each, and the clock runs until lunch. If I'm right, he'll still be alive. If I'm wrong, this is a very cruel game. How are the feet? You still itch? Um, is that important? I don't know. Is it? What kinds of drugs are you into? You don't have to talk about that right now. No, it's OK. I don't keep secrets from them. They know I did drugs before our parents died. Clever. Admit the past, deny the present. I'm clean. I'm raising two kids. It'd be pretty irresponsible, wouldn't it? But confiding in an eight-year-old is OK. If I'm open with them, then they'll be open with me. Yeah. Turning the other cheek's a good strategy in boxing. Kids don't lie because they got trust issues. They lie because they got something to hide. Look at him, sitting there doing nothing. He's still lying. We don't lie to Jack. Spelling test you failed or forgot to? No. Math test? No. Fight with the kid sitting next to you? He doesn't sit next to me. The other one's probably having sex. I am not. Yet. But when you start, you're going to lie about it. Does your arm hurt? Arm's fine, bro. Then why is it bleeding? It's not. It's... Get your arm above your head. Your ear. And your nose. They're osteomyelitis. It means you're wrong about food bulk toxins. And you can stop too. It's syphilis. You sure? Read the printout. He's also positive for Iconella. One of you two screwed up. No. Not a chance. Lord, this kid is a lot sicker than we thought. Finish that test. It should be impossible to get two right answers to one question. It's OK to have three? Apparently. He's positive for botulism, too. So we knock down one infection, and three more pop up. I think this game is rigged. Brenda. 
mind stems clean. Nothing in the midbrain. What's that? Frontal lobe, upper right quadrant. I don't see anything. There. It's tiny, but I think it's a tumor. That size should be excisable. Why didn't we see it earlier? How oh, God. Axial view, there's another one. Bring up the next slice. They're everywhere. <clears throat> a little orphan Annie and Oliver Twist slept in our hallways last night. Are they sane? They're children. They need a guardian. Couldn't find a babysitter on account of not being able to make any phone calls, on account of not being able to breathe, on account of his lungs filling up with serratia. He has chronic granulomatous disease. Game over. Our work is done. Then he's going to keep getting sick. You got to call social services. Bone marrow transplant would reboot his whole immune system. He'll be healthy enough to win miserable daddy of the year. So see if one of his kids is a match. My kids are already testing his kids. You tested him? I never consented for it's that. It's just a blood draw. There's no danger. To the testing, what about the surgery? The risk for Will is next to nothing. What if I don't do it? What are my other options? Your immune system can't fight off the germs we all come into contact with every day. Now that we know, we can use more targeted medications. But you'll still get sick all the time. You'll be in and out of hospitals. Or I'll live. Jack. Your lifespan will be substantially shortened. And you'll be too sick to care for your brother and sister anymore. You shouldn't have pressured him into There's no pressure. He's eight years old. You tell him his brother's dying unless he helps, what do you think he's gonna do? He wants to help you. He has no idea. It's like you asked him to let me play with one of his toys. This is surgery. He could die. He'll be fine. But you, you're gonna have a hard time protecting him like this if you're dead. I'll do it. When Will's 18, he can decide for himself. It's your lucky day. Just found another donor in the registry. Perfect match. We can do the transplant, no danger to the rug rat. You just have to sign here. Unless there's another reason you don't want it. There's a chance I'd die. A chance you'll be cured. Maybe you don't want that either. Maybe hanging out in a hospital, getting weighted on hand and foot, reminds you of what life used to be like before you were forced to play Mr. Mom. I don't like being sick. But you don't want to be healthy either. This is your way out, guilt-free. I said I'd do it when Will's 18. He's able to take care of himself without you. Jack, your brother and sister need you. I know, I know every second of every day that they need me, but I'm too young to be their dad. visiting them, and you won't be able to say goodbye. You're going to know you screwed up. They'll take his bone marrow, and you'll take them back. And there'll be a burden and a pain. And your life will never be what it was supposed to be. But you'll be proud of yourself. And your parents, they'll be proud of you. So. It's what I want to believe. <laughs> 